G'day, the purpose of tonight's video is to run through the Aperture Light Dome 3. Uh, it's the one that folds down a bit more flatter than the uh, Bowens mount sitting kind of horizontal, I guess, uh, when packed down. So I just thought I'd go through that and uh, we'll see what it looks like compared to the original. So, definitely looks a lot flatter. So one of the main reasons I got this was got a whole bunch of travel coming up and I just wanted to still be able to take a soft box with me. And normally in the past I've taken the original light dome, just with that extra thickness, it just can cause a little bit of packing issues. Okay. So we've got our two types of diffusion. That's the egg crates or the uh, grid moisture pack. Now I haven't actually set one of these up before, so we'll just see how we go. So looking here, you got a little button there, and you've got this little unlock doobie whacker there. A little sign that says one press to pull. So Okay, that was easy in the scheme of things. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna try that again. So to unlock, you just pull that fella out. Oh. And then that comes apart. This might take a little bit of getting used to. Second time around, definitely a bit faster. So maybe when you go to release, it's kind of pressed down a bit more. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I'll pop that up. So it's a nice size dome as the original I don't think the diameter has changed. And we've got your heart, I think it's probably one and two stops for your diffusion. I'll pop the two stops on, but I will double check that. That it's correct. So if you haven't pop one of these aperture domes up before. Just make sure you always put the diffusion to the inside of the Velcro. That way you've got plenty of space to put the grid or the egg crates on if you're wanting to use that to modify. 
Uh, I'm just going to do a very loose, quick job here. So you could obviously do that properly and, and get it nice and snug. So it looks quite nice. Like that one. With this one, this is the original, well, the, the second style where you have to pin all those up. Um, I always just went opposite sides. And I mean, it doesn't take that long, but you're having to individually open, what have we got? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 or so little doobie whackers. So there you go. This one is the Aperture Light Dome 2. This one's the Aperture Light Dome 3. Pretty much exactly the same size. It's just that ability to lay flat and then that new system of folding it open without having to clip all of the individual um, arms throughout. So I'm pretty happy with how easy that was once I figured it out. And um, overall, it's just exactly the same. So as you can see, this is the Light Dome 2 and you've got all the little individual release arms that you need to connect and, and um, release when you go to pack that down. Just come over to the new one. So this is the three. It's been out for a while, but this I only just received it today. So you've got your release mechanism and they're all just folding it in so that you don't have to release individually. Rightio, so with pack down of the two, you gotta click every individual one. This one doesn't want to play the game, there we go. That's pretty quick. So there you have it, that's the Aperture Light Dome 3 side by side with the Aperture Light Dome 2. Moving forward, I'm pretty excited to have the ability to kind of keep it flat when I'm traveling with it and just save on that space just a touch. So I'll catch you soon. Cheers.